just went to Walmart checking the shelves and I went to their clearance aisle and I got me a Camp Chef Campers Combo. It is the Mountain Series. This is the Rainier Mountain Series. It was on clearance for $54. They are regular $114 and other places around town they're up to $130. So I got it for $54. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this thing up because they didn't have any open so I could see what they actually look like. So. comes with a bag, a carrying bag. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Usually don't get these camp stoves with a carrying bag. Wow, this is pretty good size actually. Let's open this up. Lots and lots of paper. These right here, it's got some wind guards on it. So they snap onto the lid. It's actually pretty heavy. Hmm. It's got a burner on the side right here. Right here there's a burner. And over here there is a griddle. So actually, you can cook with the griddle, put a pan on the burner, or you can remove the griddle. Where is that? I knew there was something else to go along with it. It is in the bag. And it is a pan or a plate where with the holes in it so you can put that on there and you can kind of barbecue with it so it's like a gas barbecue it's got the tube right here where the flame runs along so it's just like your regular barbecue so you can go ahead and put on your grate for doing um, barbecue and hot dogs and hamburgers. Oops. Or put a griddle on there. This is pretty neat. I'm glad I seen this on clearance. It's got a built-in piezo right down here by the pipe. And then of course you could put this on there the one that's for barbecuing on and you can set a pan on top of there also to heat up your pan so you can have a pan here a pan there or put your hamburgers on there and hot dogs and just cook them straight over the barbecue or put your this one on and cook over the griddle I'm excited about this Everything looks pretty sturdy. I didn't know about these, how well built these camp chefs were, but it's actually pretty darn sturdy. The lid just snaps down. Oh, here's the button for the piezo for the barbecue. Here's where your gas goes on. It comes with one of your little um, adapters to put the one pound tank. 
this just screws right in there and then you put your one pound propane tank on there or you can actually put a 20 pound tank on there with the conversion and the hose so it'll screw right on there so anyway that's a pretty good deal there's only a couple of those left so I am glad I found it And they don't both fit in there. One goes in the carry bag. And I cannot wait to cook with this thing. It's kind of nice, the bag that it comes with. This is pretty exciting. And these have little metal lips on them. Got to be careful you don't bend them, of course. Let's go ahead and put that in there and see how that fits. Probably want to put that underneath the stove where these little legs are protected by the feet of the stove. Definitely don't want to bend them. I don't think they'll fit inside and be able to close that lid. Nope. They won't do that. It would be nice if there was a slot underneath to actually stick it. It had some little slots to put those little pieces in there. But with the stove legs, as long as you're setting it on a flat surface and not something that's sitting directly underneath the middle between the stove legs, it'll bend those little arms on the whichever piece you put down there if you put the griddle down there or if you put the barbecue top so you just pretty much set it down actually if you're setting it down on the side just make sure it's flat on something or up like that and then the griddles right or that plates right there so as long as you're not banging it against anything you shouldn't bend it but I'll tell you that is pretty cool. It comes with it coming with a case and everything. Man, that'll make it nice for packing for camping. I usually keep all my other stuff in a tote and everything because I don't have no carrying case with it. But this one you can just set right on in your vehicle. I think I got myself a good deal here. Fifty-four dollars for a hundred and fourteen dollar set at Walmart and. $130 everywhere else I looked in town, so can't beat that. And then it'll be nice to be able to cook right off the griddle up there or on barbecue at the campground, especially when you're not supposed to have an open flame. So, anyway, y'all have a good one. See y'all later.